when when I was a child, I was absolutely enthralled, sitting in in our sitting room on the farm in Gilgil, listening to my father's stories about the early days. So when I decided to write my autobiography, which was about ten or fifteen years ago when I started it. I wanted to go back into those early days because memories are so short, these human ones are. And even in, in my childhood, life was very different to that that my father lived. He came in the days of ox wagons, there weren't even vehicles, there were no roads, there were no shops, there was nothing. So I wanted to go back and put a bit of that history in as well. So uh, the book starts with that and then it covers my childhood, which was a very charmed childhood on a beautiful farm in the Rift Valley amongst lots of domestic animals and of course a few wild orphans as well because in those days wild orphans were everywhere. All our uh, holidays were spent under canvas on safari in the Mara before there were any roads, in Amboseli before it was a national park, in wild places and so right from a very early age I've been exposed and very blessed to have been able to share time with both domestic and wild animals and uh, I've absolutely loved them both with all my heart. And I had my first orphaned antelope when I was three years old. It was a little bush buck. And then of course I married into the National Park Service and that's where I had to handle the, the bigger orphans. I learned so much from my late husband who was a very fine naturalist and uh, was privileged enough to live in the Savo National Park and was able to study the wild elephants there and uh, uh, all animals really. I mean, I was so interested in, in nature, you know, and David was a very fine tutor. He taught me so much and the animals taught me the rest. So I, I think it's, it was my duty to, to, to actually write it all down and to pass it on for people that haven't been quite so privileged in life to, to have the opportunity that I had that just came my way. It's been quite a sort of long journey writing this book because I've only been able to write in between all my other commitments but I knew that I had to do it and I think it's something that everyone should do before they die. So I know that I've been very blessed to have been able to, to spend time very close to nature all my life and to to have actually reared a lot of different species and uh, when you have an orphaned animal and you see it every single day and it grows up with you, you learn the inside story about animals, how they feel and think. And because I'd been so privileged to, to have this sort of life, I knew that at some stage I had to record it and pass it on for other people because the world is changing very fast and even today when my grandchildren are born, it's a very different world to what it was when I was young. And I wanted to pass on to everyone what I've been able to learn about animals so that they can appreciate them and nurture them and look after them, protect them.